Good afternoon, I'm Eric Paulson. Thank you for joining us today. Louisiana could be taking a step back to some kind of normalcy this week. Not a whole lot, but some. The stay home order is currently set to end on Thursday. Today, Governor John Bell Edwards says he'll make an important announcement about his order and provide an update on the state's response to the coronavirus. We should be getting an outline of exactly how the state will be moving toward reopening, which likely will be a very slow return. The governor's news conference is set for four o'clock this afternoon. We, of course, will be carrying that live right here on Channel 4, as well as stream it on our digital platforms. Over the past few days, coronavirus numbers for the state have remained fairly steady, which is exactly what we want to see when considering easing or ending the stay at home orders. Here are the latest numbers. The state now has more than 27,000 cases and nearly 1,700 deaths. And while those numbers are terrible, there is a good sign that there were no deaths, any new deaths reported here in New Orleans. The number of people in the hospital and on ventilators has remained fairly steady. On Friday, the state released recovery numbers for the first time. Today, they added 3,000 more to that number, saying there have been more than 17,000 COVID-19 recoveries. New Orleans stay at home order, as you know, is still on until May 16th. However, the mayor, Mayor Latoya Cantrell, says it could be lifted at any time. The mayor says the criteria for reopening here in the city includes a consistent drop in cases, more testing and hospital, hospital availability, and to have a plan to isolate new cases that could emerge. Her guidelines are similar to the ones that Governor Edwards and federal leaders have recommended. Some elective medical procedures resumed today, which is good news for people who had to put off some important surgeries because of the coronavirus pandemic. The procedures approved cover surgeries that are time sensitive and procedures that help patients avoid further harm from underlying conditions or diseases. North Shore Dr. Chad Domang says that thousands of surgeries have been delayed or postponed. Medical professionals will decide which procedures need to be done right now and which ones can wait for a while. State officials say that the procedures that can be postponed should stay on hold to avoid putting any patients at risk. Mississippi's stay-at-home order expired this morning. The state's new order requires medically vulnerable people to stay home but allows more movement by others. People are still banned from gathering in groups of more than 10 people. Stores are supposed to allow no more than 50% of their capacity to customers. At the same time, gyms, barber shops, hair and nail salons, and tattoo parlors are still closed in Mississippi. Today, Lafouche and Terrebonne Parish officials began working together to make sure that people are getting tested during this coronavirus outbreak. They're offering a self-testing self site at the Lafouche Sheriff's Office, that the, actually the shooting range, which is on Highway 1. Duke Carter has more on that. Leaders in Lafouche are working with those in the Terrebonne Parish to make sure people are safe. They want to make sure people get tested so that they have accurate numbers of how many people are testing positive and negative for the coronavirus. According to Lafouche Paris leaders, those who plan to get tested today are those who are serving on the front lines, those health care workers, as well as those who are 65 years old or older. Now, they're working with the National Guard to set up the self-testing site, and what's happening today is that it's a drive-through site. People in this case will test themselves in comparison to the other sites where it was just drive-through and health care workers would test you. Again, people would test themselves here in Lafouche with a cotton swab, wipe their nose, and then place it back in a container so it then can be tested. Now, parish presidents in Lafouche and Terrebonne, they're working together, and also with the superintendent of Lafouche Parish Schools. Now, the superintendent, they're allowing some nurses to provide assistance by helping answer questions questions to those who may test negative or positive. Well, I want to be sure that we're doing everything we can to make sure that we stay uh, safe. And I figured this was a way to be sure that it's working. If a person were to find out that they've tested positive, they can immediately access that necessary, potentially life-saving medical attention and treatment that might make the difference between whether they survive or not. Now, according to Lafouche Paris President Archie Chasson, 125 tests will happen per day or as long as supplies last, and that's going to be happening from 8 a.m. until noon.
For now, reporting in Lafourche Parish, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News. And around the world, coronavirus cases continue to go up. We have nearly 3 million cases around the world reported over the weekend. Worldwide numbers surpassed 200,000 deaths. While in this country, we've seen more than 960,000 cases and nearly 55,000 deaths. This as many states across the country are opening back up. At least Preston has that story. Jason Griggers had a handful of clients at a salon outside Atlanta, Georgia this weekend. We're trying to stagger our clients and not just load them in here so there's not so many people in here at one time. We can practice good social distancing. At least 12 states are easing restrictions on non-essential businesses like restaurants, salons and some retailers. California has not loosened the rules, but thousands still flock to beaches which were open this weekend. There are a lot of people on the beach. They don't look like they're quite distancing like they should be. Following a rash of outbreaks among meat and food processing plants, the U.S. Labor Department issued new guidelines saying workers should be at least six feet apart and screened before their shifts. And the CDC added six new possible coronavirus symptoms, chills, shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and new loss of taste or smell. It means more people can be tested at places that require symptoms for testing. Here in New York City, the mayor announced new self swamp testing sites to increase the number of tests that can be done per day. This will make everyone's lives easier and faster, and this will give more people answers. Another sign of progress, the last patient has been discharged from the Naval Hospital Ship Comfort, which will soon leave Manhattan after nearly a month. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. And now to Wall Street, stocks were uh, higher this morning in early trading as more states assess their plans to hopefully reopen their economies. This is a look at the big board right now. The Dow is up more than 270 points, finally above 24,000 for the first time in uh, a few days. And more and more people are recovering every day. Worldwide reports show that more than 880,000 people have gotten over COVID-19. In this country, we've seen that number at about 118,000 recoveries. But remember, these are only recoveries for people who got tested. There are likely thousands and thousands of others who have recovered who never actually knew they were sick.